Greetings, everyone. This is Eric Stewart from the Bad Rhino Local Podcast, and today I'm joined with Aaron Hall, who is the owner of Paint One of Mainline. So how are you doing, Aaron? Doing great. Doing great. It's great to have you on here doing this little podcast episode with me, and I just kind of want to open the floor and start it off by you telling our listeners what Painter One of Mainline is all about and what you guys do. Sure. So we're, we're a local um, residential and commercial painting company, uh, primarily uh, residential repaints uh interior exterior um been in the industry for over 20 years now and then decided to uh break off and start my own business so i did start painter one um it is a franchise and um i just really like the model of it and uh found that melbourne was the area to really kick it off i love it i love it and you guys have a bunch of different locations across the united states right that's correct. Yep. We're, we're small right now, but we're growing pretty darn quickly, um, even during the COVID, COVID year. Absolutely. And um, so let's dive in. Let's start it off by diving into your background a little bit, because as I was doing some research on you, you started out in real estate sales and then switched over to Painter One. So tell me about that transition and kind of how that came to be. Yeah. So really, I mean, to go back a little bit further, um, grandfather and father both worked for NVR Ryan Homes. So we, I kind of grew up in that construction, um, custom home building um, arena. And so it was always kind of in my blood. Um, felt like I didn't want to take the same approach they did coming out of college, um, but, you know, was was told and asked to, to go to college and um, get a degree in business and then kind of decide where what direction I wanted to go into. Wound up falling uh, into... Um, really real estate property management did that for over seven years for a local builder real estate broker in Westchester. Um, and then from there after during 2008 broke off and was a, um, like a project and account manager and then a, um, GM for, for a local, uh, landscape company. So, always worked for small family owned businesses and loved that atmosphere, that structure. Um, and just decided at a certain point here, um, three years ago that I wanted to do my own thing and stepped into painter one. So that, that big change, right. That big swing from working for someone to kind of running your own thing here, um, three years into it, looking back all the way to when you first started it, what was that thing that kind of pushed you over the edge and just said, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. Yeah. Um, Really, it was it was a combination of, of three things. So, um, not married. My my wife and I we had, we had children, um, all in a very quick span of time, and we were just kind of sitting there discussing, you know, our plans for, and our and our how we want our our lifestyle to look, and you know, in the next five ten years, and um, we just saw a window of opportunity for me to do one goal or dream that was, was still one, one of mine. Um, and then one that my wife shares with me as well as it's the, the start of business. So we just, it really just came together. Um, and it's, and it felt like the right time to do it. I feel like it's so perfect storm. You just kind of took that leap of faith and here you are today. That's right. I love it. Cool. So let's talk about the services that you guys offer. You got interior painting, Mm -hmm. exterior painting and in business solutions. Mm -hmm. So let's run through each of these real quick and tell me a little bit about what, which one has to offer. Yeah. So I would say about 50% of my, of my business is residential interior repaint. So what that really means is, you know, we, we have all different sources of, of um, opportunities or leads that come in for interior painting. Um, But the process is all the same. We would come in, provide an estimate, go over our process um, and then really showcase that we're very big on communicating, um, really following through with the project um, in each step and just trying to, to create a long-term relationship with customers. So interiors are really driving that. Same thing with the exteriors. Exteriors um, around here are mainly uh, a lot of like stucco repaints. Um, there are a lot of older historical houses that have uh, wood finishes that we're, you know, we're trying to keep maintained and, and looking good. So uh, we're definitely part of that. Um, And then the business solutions is really 
we're just focusing on what they call um, commercial repaint. So we're not going after the large industrial building complexes at this time right now, but smaller buildings like doctor's offices, dentist's offices, real estate offices, um, just smaller, smaller businesses that have already been there but need things refreshed, um, a new feel uh, for customers to kind of drum up more work for them or give the atmosphere that they're looking for. Um, we're really good at, at bringing that and, and then at a good a price as well. Business owners and marketing professionals in the Philly area, Bad Rhino takes the overwhelm out of digital marketing. With tailored digital marketing services, from social media management to SEO and PPC advertising, our expert team navigates the complexities of the digital ad space for your business. Let Bad Rhino lead you to success. Visit badrhinoinc.com and let's take your business to new heights. Bad Rhino, we do digital marketing so you don't have to. So I could imagine that like as a business owner or just anyone walking into a business, that color has a lot to do with how they see their first impression, right? You walk into a business and you like the color of the walls or maybe the color walls don't stand out. It might be a good first impression, right? But if you walk in there and they got this weird green color to them, it might be a little off-putting. So how many of your like clients reach out to you, own a company, and they're like, ah, you know, we just can't stand the color of these walls? It, it happens more often than you think. Um, you know, oftentimes we're kind of a mediator between multiple parties making those decisions. So, you know, we come in there, we um, we have other sources uh, other than like our website that can help kind of re re resolve those questions or help support um, kind of what, what is trending and things like that. So we can certainly bring value to uh, businesses. Um, it, it really does for the cost, the ROI on just painting your office space um, is is worth it. I love it. Let, well, let's talk about some trendy colors. What are, what are you seeing now that business owners are kind of leaning to or even residential yeah. spots? Um, residential and commercial, they're, they're, everyone's starting to go with, with some unusual colors. There's a lot of greens coming back, um, darker blues, um, you know, the grays and, and things like that are kind of fading away. Uh, nowadays, we're, we're, we're getting into more accent walls, um, wallpapers coming back a bit too as an accent wall. So um, a little bit more creative um, color schemes for sure. Wow. Wallpaper is making a comeback. I couldn't tell you the last time I seen wallpaper. I know. And that's a, that's a uh, dying trade. We don't, we don't do that. Um, we, we will we'll do wallpaper removal. Um, but I do have some other sources that do the install and there's very few in the surrounding area. So that, that's going to be interesting to see, um, how that, how that plays out. Absolutely. So you guys do more than just, you know, paint houses or paint commercial properties. You guys really take a hands-on approach and see what these people, what colors they might like, what style they might like, and kind of go from there and guide them in the best direction that you possibly can. Yeah, that's definitely, uh, you know, a, a goal of ours was to make sure that we're really curating um, an experience for the customer, um, not just, hey, we're the painter, we're here today, we're going to paint a couple walls and we'll see you later. We want to build that lasting relationship. Um, and then, you know, if we if we feel that we're not the right source for them for that, we we have relationship with other designers and and things like that. We 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 have um, good relationship with with quite a few designers that we we pass that on along and 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 make sure the customer is getting what they're really looking for. Absolutely. And would you say that's your like key separator between you and your competitors is being able to kind of hands on all hands on deck and kind of figure out what they're looking for and kind of kind of help them guide them in the right direction. I do. I think there's 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 definitely other um, competitoring. Um, painting businesses out there that do similar things, but the follow through, uh, the communication, um, really I've, I've had multiple clients tell me that they've, they haven't experienced that. Um, one thing I do that I don't think a lot of other painters will do each day that I have a project going on, they're going to get a daily progress report at the end of the day. And it kind of lets them know what we completed, um, what our goal is for the next day, uh, remind them who's on the job, when to expect them the next day, when to expect myself or a project manager. And then if there is some questions, you know, hey, this is the time to throw a red flag up and say, you know, I have a couple questions here and then we can kind of decide when we're going to 
go over that and resolve it. So um, I think that that's really what sets us apart. Absolutely. Transparency is key, right? And I know talking with a lot of home service companies too, one thing people really like is prep work. And I saw you guys do this too, is covering up all the places that you're not painting. So you don't kind of leave with a mess. So tell me a little bit about that process that you guys have. Yeah. I mean, really our guys, um, it's just kind of ingrained now that, they, you know, they come in, we're, we're coming in right off the bat with a roll of tape in one arm, um, plastic paper. We'll kind of, we'll come in. Typically we, everyone takes their shoes off or we'll put shoe coverings on, but um, that's step one. We kind of assess the project of what we're going to be doing. And then we put down, typically we're always putting down paper at the front door or drop cloths. And then we pick a room in an area where we're going to be doing our work, set all that up. We'll stage our material in one spot every day, usually a safe area that's out of the way that we're not going to spill paint. Um, and if we do, we have it all covered and everything like that. So that's typically, you know, how we would set up. Um, and we go over that with the customer and say, hey, you know, is there a, an empty room or is there a garage or a basement that we can put our tools in? Um, which door would you prefer us to use? Some some folks are fine with using a front door. Some want us to come through a side door or through the garage. So we make those decisions. Um, we'll go over what we're going to do first. You know, some some often days now, a lot of folks are working at home, so they need a they need a quiet area. They need an office. So we might do one room and then they might shift over into that the next day. And so we kind of schedule all that out with them. Um, that's really the the, 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 the step-by-step initially. That's that's key because I couldn't tell you the amount of times I've been on meetings. They're like, oh, we're getting work done in the house. It's mm -hmm. like, And it's really loud and all that stuff. So it's cool right. that you guys pay that much attention to detail when you're working with a client for sure. For sure. So – Let's talk a little bit about the areas of service that you guys offer, um, specific areas like Westchester and Exton. Um, where are all those kind of areas located? Yeah, so I, I really, right off the bat, so my my area as a franchise, typically you have like an area that you're allowed to work in or you paid um, to work in or territory based on other similar franchises um, or painter one franchises. So I'm the only painter one in the state of Pennsylvania, so I have free reign pretty much. Um, but I really just focus on about a 30 mile radius around Melbourne. Um, so, you know, that really in incorporates Westchester, Downingtown, uh, Melbourne, Chester Springs, King of Prussia. Uh, um, we like to go on the Wayne quite a bit, uh, Paoli, um, Newtown Square. So, you know, anywhere that, anywhere with that really is in that 30 mile radius, um, we're fine with going into we'll extend out to that it just depends on the size of the size of the job at this point huh, i love it i love it any work in uh, philadelphia in the city or we don't we we, we get asked to uh, quite a bit um it would have to be a very special project um one logistically right now would be a little hard for me to get down there and manage it all the time um and then you need some different type of insurance you need to work along with um the unions down there. So we're not quite there yet um, to make it make sense uh, to do that. So we, we, we kind of, we, we'll stay out of the city at this point. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cool. So my next question is a fun little question here and kind of how we met. Um, I know I didn't meet you at the networking events in Exeter or Westchester, but you know, I've heard your name around and definitely reached out to you for this podcast. Tell me a little bit of what it's like in the Westchester Exxon area for networking, going to the Chamber of Commerce and any other networking events too that you belong in. Yeah. So really this time last year, I made it a priority to to get out there and start networking. Um, and I went to one networking event that was in, I want to say closer to Glen Mills and Met a few people in there that were in Exxon Chambers, and then they wound up being in the BNI. So I went and visited both of them, and then wound up joining both of them. Um, but really, what I find the networking so far in Exxon and Westchester, everyone is very open, very will willing to support and share each other, um, or you know, support and share their opinion and 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 um, any type of knowledge that they have with each other. So. I think we're all fortunate if we're in that Westchester Exxon area to be a part of it. Um, and 
it, it's really easy to define something. If you're looking to, for some type of networking event this week, there's probably multiple things going on that you can really attend. So it's how you kind of choose your time wisely to attend them. But they're out there and there are a lot, like I said, um, BNI and repeat customers are about 60% of my, of my business right now. So wow. it, it definitely pays off. Now that that's a huge shout out right there. And I love how nice everyone is too, right? Like even oh, yeah. when you're a newer member of the group and you're mm -hmm. kind of just starting out networking, I mean, everyone's there, share some information with you, share a referral where they can, mm -hmm. and um, it's a pretty awesome group. Yep, for sure. And I, and I know a few other painters that are in similar networking groups that we all attend and um, you know, we, we tend to get along. I, I don't, I don't see, you know, any, any, any fighting in any corner with anyone like that of, of trades and things like that. So that's nice to see. And, and I, and I've actually had gone out to dinner with a, a few of, of other painted contractors in the beginning of um, year two and just kind of got to know them and, and, and how they operate and stuff. So it was encouraging. Yeah. Sometimes it's nice to have a conversation with someone that's in your own industry because they oh, yeah. kind of get little things, um, little tidbits that they might have and share with you and you can share with them. It's pretty cool. For sure. So, um, Aaron, cool. Let's wrap it up here. Just let people know where they can find um, your website, where they can reach out if they want some more information about any jobs. Yeah, so it, it's real simple. Uh, Painter One, really easy uh, name to remember. Painter One of Mainline, right. and then we're you know we're on Facebook, Instagram, all that. So. Sweet. I will uh, link all of them in the description. People can come check you out. And Aaron, I look forward to seeing you at networking events in the future, and put a face to the name and be able to see you out there. Yeah, I appreciate the opportunity today.